so good morning students uh, today uh, we are going to start the most important uh, physical parameter which is frequently uh, encountered in the industrial processes that is temperature if you see the above parameters uh, directly or indirectly we have completed all these parameters like displacement strain acceleration or you can say vibration force torque flow pressure etc so today we are going to discuss about the uh, instrumentation of temperature right so in this slide you can see that the temperature is the most important parameter which frequently encountered in the physical or chemical processes in the industrial uh, segment so so it is required to be measured it is very important parameter right in the field of instrumentation as far as the measurement of temperature or uh, the measurement of change of temperature then there are three types of uh, instruments are available in the market and these are the most commonly used uh, instruments the number one is resistance thermometer or you can say resistance temperature detector and it is popularly abbreviated as rtd right that, that is resistance temperature detector right number one is thermistors uh, something we have also discussed with the thermistor in our lab session and then the last one is thermocouples today in the today's uh, class we will mainly discuss about rtd right and in next uh, one or two class we will discuss about the thermistors and thermocouples then this chapter would be completed right these are the common points uh, we are supposed to discuss uh, in the subsequent slides first the principle of rtd actually uh, the resistance temperature detector it is a passive transducer number one second one it is a resistive transducer which measures the change in temperature change in temperature by measuring the change in resistance as we all know that the resistance of uh, metals or conductors changes with its change in temperature and this property is basically used in rtd for the measurement of temperature so uh, here we will see how the resistance of metals or conductors changes when their temperature is changes i think you all are aware about this expression uh, let us discuss uh, we all know that the variation of resistance with temperature for most of the metallic conductors can be represented by the following expression r is equal to r not multiplied by bracket ke andar hai aapka 1 plus this is alpha actually right alpha 1 delta t plus alpha 2 delta t square and so on right i think you have uh, seen this expression up to alpha 1 t delta t only right so we will reach that point but first uh, let us discuss some uh, important aspect here r not this is the resistance in ohm at reference temperature reference temperature is usually 0 degree centigrade or sometime Uh, as far as numerical problems are concerned it is mentioned as 20 degree centigrade so don't be bother about this whether it would be 0 or 20 degree centigrade and the coefficients alpha 1 alpha 2 up to alpha n these are the temperature coefficients of the resistance in per degree centigrade it means uh, agar hum 1 degree centigrade temperature mein change karte hain to conductor mein kitna resistance change hota hai wo हम इस टेम्परेचर कॉफिशन की सहायता से बता सकते हैं ठीक है वैल्यूज ऑफ टेम्परेचर कॉफिशंट लाइक एल्फा वन एल्फा टू अप टू एल्फा एन इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द टाइप ऑफ मटेरियल द डिजायर एक्यूरेसी एंड द रेंज ऑफ ऑपरेशन सो इफ वी कंसिडर द नैरो रेंज ऑफ ऑपरेशन यूजली द हायर ऑर्डर कॉफिशंट हायर ऑर्डर कॉफिशंट मीन्स द कॉफिशन विच आर रिलेटेड टू स्क्वायर एंड द अपर टर्म्स दीज आर यूजली very small and therefore uh, they are neglected so the final relationship it becomes r equal to r not 1 plus alpha delta t because no alphas are there so i have uh, replaced alpha 1 as alpha i think you are most of the uh, students are aware about this expression right here alpha is your temperature coefficient this uh, thing is known as uh, linear approximation where we want the linear relationship between the resistance and temperature right 
सो नाउ कम टू दी मटीरियल ये आर टी डी किसका बना हुआ होता है ऑल दो वी डिस्कस दीज आर दी मेटेलिक कंडक्टर्स बट वट शुड बी दी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द मटेरियल विच इज मेडअप बाय आर टी डी राइट आई थिंक समबडी इज आस्किंग टू ज्वाइन so today i am allowing but from tomorrow onwards after the time i will not allow you please make sure that you are on time so the first property is the change in resistance of material per unit change in temperature should be as large as possible it means uh, if it should it should be there because if the change in resistance of material per unit change in temperature would be large then only we can measure the very small uh, change in temperature otherwise it will not be possible the second thing is the resistivity of the material should be so high so that the minimum value volume of conductor is used for the construction because we know that the r is, is equal to rho l by a if the we, here we can see that the resistivity is inversely proportional to the uh, area so if the resistivity would be high then ultimately we will be having we require less amount of material for the construction right these are the two properties which are required uh, for the construction of rtd now come to the materials the materials which uh, having such kind of properties are platinum copper and nickel these are the most common materials other materials are also there but these are these three are the most common materials Uh, used for the rtd out of these materials platinum is the most important material because uh, it has high temperature withstand capacity and excellent stability its temperature coefficient is 0.00385 per degree centigrade and uh, below one the range of copper and nickel is also mentioned this is the characteristics uh, we know that the rtd is made up of uh, metallic conductors and we also know that most of the metallic conductors are having positive temperature coefficients it means when the temperature increases their resistance increases so it is a linear relationship this slide is basically showing you the performance of uh, Uh, different different materials in our earlier slide you have seen that uh, the platinum has highest range of temperature for the operation so uh, in this graph we can see that the performance characteristics that is relative resistance versus temperature characteristics of three different materials nickel copper and platinum here you can see that the platinum is having highest range of operation now come to the numerical portion uh we have given an rtd its thermal coefficient is alpha is 0.0008 per degree centigrade right and its resistance at 0 degree centigrade is 8 ohm uh, in this case we have given the reference temperature at as 0 degree centigrade to jo rtd humko diya hua hai uska reference temperature ke upar resistance humko de rakha hai 8 ohm right so what is the resistance at 100 degree centigrade we want to determine the uh, resistance at 100 degree centigrade for this particular rtd whose uh, thermal coefficient or you can say the temperature coefficient of resistance is given to us right so just by the application of the uh, linear approximation that that is r equal to r not 1 plus alpha t we can determine this required value so here you can see the solution we have given r not 8 ohm we have given temperature coefficient of resistance as 0.008 per degree centigrade we want to determine the resistance at 100 degree centigrade right so we make use of this formula r is equal to r not 1 plus alpha delta t so if we put all these required values at their places then we will be getting the required value of resistance that is 8.64 ohm right let us discuss one more uh, numerical problem where the reference temperature is not the 0 degree centigrade rather it has it is given as 20 degree centigrade 
So here we are considering the platinum resistance thermometer. When the RTD is made up of platinum, sometimes uh, it is abbreviated as PRDT. That is platinum resistance temperature detector, right? So its uh, temperature coefficient is 0 0.004 per degree centigrade, and its resistance at 20 degree centigrade is 200 ohm, right? And we need to again determine the resistance at 100 degree centigrade. In this case, uh, we'll be using the same expression, but the uh, value of reference temperature is different in this case. So see how it is solved. So again, uh, we have given the reference resistance. It means the reference temperature is 20 degrees centigrade. We have given 200 ohm. The, this is the value of uh, uh, thermal coefficient, or you can say the resistance temperature detect uh, coefficient. And we need to determine the resistance at 100 degrees centigrade. Again, we make use of same formula. And in this case, the delta T is nothing but the difference of these two temperatures, that is T2 minus T1. We need to determine the temperature at 100 degrees centigrade and at 20 degrees centigrade, we have given the temperature. If you solve this problem, then you will be getting the answer as 264 ohm. So students, uh, today I am in hurry and so uh, we have planned a very short class. So in the next uh, <coughs> class, will we... Who has joined lastly?